Silence can be the most deafeningly haunting sound in the world, especially when no human can hear this pain. The events that took place came suddenly without prejudice, young or wealthy, poor and old. No one was exempt from the wrath of the virus. Almost no one. The last ranger and his faithful companion beings meandered through the decay that once was a symbol of humanity in search of hope. Hope that there is life out there still. Death, suffering and mortality consume his mind as with each settlement he passes, nothing is to be hopeful about. All life, animal and human have become victim to this tragedy he cannot understand. He is alone, perhaps the last of his kind. His mind plays over and over the events of what has happened and he questions. Why him? Why beans? What is so significant about his bond with a stray hound that is so meaningful that they have been spared? When the world has fallen apart around you, the feeling of being alone is overwhelming. An empty hand to hold is an agony and despair that only he can bear. The survival of the last ranger is close to abandonment and despair. Hope is falling away with each step forward into the wilderness. Basic sustenance has become the same mundane meal over and over. The recollection of the flavour of a gold cut of steer lingers forgettably on his mind. His mind has been in solitude for so long, he struggles with the thoughts that have come to him. In disbelief, the last ranger advances slowly, cautiously as his mind may be playing games with it. The sight of another being has made him weary as well as hopeful. I could do cannibalism if I had to.